Welcome to another Greeny Flicks Adventure 8 video and today we're going to be looking at some landscape photography using one of my new tripods and the Nikon D850 and the lens that I'll be using is the 24 to 70 f2.8 I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to get, but I might just um, sit up here, grab a few shots of this little wet, moist lagoon, if you can call it that. The location is Lane Cove National Park, so that's only about uh, 15 kilometers from Sydney CBD. Uh, the great thing about Sydney and Australia, I suppose, or Sydney particularly, is you've got national parks scattered around all over Sydney. So you can be in the middle of Sydney and still within 15-20 minutes get to a national park and, uh, and then test your creativity for photography, which I'm attempting to do. Um, so how did this tripod come about? No doubt you watch YouTube videos as I do and I subscribe to quite a few photographers actually. And they are photographers that are of many different ages. Some are younger, some are older but I find them all inspiring in some manner or form. So particularly one photographer that I'm following quite a bit right now around landscape photographer is a guy called Thomas Heaton and there'll be a link somewhere in the video. And um, the tripod that he uses is this one here, the iFootage Gazelle TC7. So it's a carbon fiber tripod and then he uh, uses a different head to this one but it's similar in concept i'll have all these details in the video somewhere below the head is actually manufactured in china i guess like most things are manufactured these days anyway the details are there it does take a universal mount so you can uh, an l-shaped mount like this one so once put on the camera then you can do landscape or you can just remount it and do portrait. So that's what I would be doing. These straps are good. You can just click them on and off. have a bird as a subject. The birds disappeared so I'm searching for a subject right now. Anyway, keep on going. There is a duck, it's just coming into frame. sort of results I'm getting here uh, at this stage uh, my shots aren't that inspiring whether I can do anything about it in Lightroom or not we'll see continue with the review of this tripod and the head that I'm using that's the L bracket uh, one thing I did discover accidentally was this little doobie lackey here uh, it's got a little hexagonal bit on there that's actually used to tighten up the screw on the mount. Didn't even realize it was there. Um, comes with a tripod, isn't that nice? And that just clips on. I've just used a bit of string here as a tether, so I don't actually accidentally lose it. And that just uh, clips onto the leg. And then you just slide it down. All these adjustments here are quite impressive. Um, 
there's a bubble level in there so I can just uh, level that straight away with this uh, ball adjustment really simply that's a good benefit and then I know I'm level and I can just rotate that around to the point of subject um, I can lock that off there is another adjustment here so I can rotate once that's locked off I can actually rotate this as well and uh, then you've got these two friction adjustments here as well you can loosen that one off loosen off the left one and then there's quite a bit of resistance there if I loosen that off a bit more there's less resistance and I can adjust up and down like that and then lock that off so it's all locked in position it's nice and sturdy um, we've got soft ground here so that's the reason why you got movement it means if I want to change to a portrait I can just undo that slide that in and put that on now it's in portrait mode and again if I need to adjust the levels then I can just quickly use that make any fine tuning adjustment the bubble gives me a guide but then I've got the horizontal adjustment on the camera as well which then can give me the fine tuning adjustment that I need Short at first impressions is um, the tripod is fairly lightweight being carbon fiber there is a aluminium version that you can get as well which is uh, an extra half a kilo or thereabouts um, otherwise I'm pretty impressed with this tripod so far and with the fluid head and the adjustments that it has I'm gonna have to get out there do some more photography and landscape and um, let's see whether we can rectify or pull anything out of these photographs for you to view. Short and sweet video. Hope you enjoy it. Do subscribe, do like, and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.